how did we get here? FTX, once one of the largest crypto exchanges in the world, filing for bankruptcy protection in the United States. Here's a timeline of how it happened. On November 2nd, Coindesk's Ian Allison published a report on Alameda Research's balance sheet, which was loaded and leveraged with FTT token, the native exchange token of its sister company, FTX. On November 6th, on November 6th Binance CEO Changpeng Zhao, who operates the world's largest crypto exchange, referred to the, quote, recent revelations as the reason he would sell his holdings in FTT, which amounted to about half a billion dollars worth, which crashed FTT's price and triggered a run on FTX. I should note that CZ had been the target of passive aggressive tweets by FTX CEO Sam Baker Fried, such as the now deleted tweet saying, excited to see him repping the industry in DC going forward. Uh, he is, is he allowed to go to DC? Right? So that could have added to tensions, nevertheless. In a since deleted tweet, SBF saying FTX is fine and the exchange had enough liquidity to process client withdrawals. That ended up not being the case, as on November 8th, FTX halted all crypto withdrawals. Q Binance CEO CZ, one of FTX's early investors, offering to buy FTX and save the day with a non binding letter of intent. And that's key here because after one day of due diligence, Binance scrapped the FTX deal, saying, quote, as a result of corporate due diligence, as well as the latest news reports regarding mishandled customer funds and alleged U.S. agency investigations, we have decided that we will not pursue the potential acquisition of FTX. CEO CZ further saying it's beyond our ability to help. Now that brings us to November 11th today. FTX filing for bankruptcy protection in the United States and FTX US halting withdrawals for crypto. John Ray III, who appears to be the same individual who previously oversaw the Enron Corporation bankruptcy, will replace Sam Baker Fried as CEO. A bankruptcy filing attributed to Alameda Research estimates the company has $10 billion to $50 billion worth of liabilities.